Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Isel. Uh, I woke up this morning to find out that uh, the world was ending, or um, to say that YouTube has finally moved its uh, new layout from uh, beta testing into the uh, majority of accounts. And it's really terrible. It is, it's really terrible. It's, it's borderline unusable. And I felt the, the need to upload e a video uh, showing it off and explaining why I think it's bad. So first of all, the entire interface is aligned to the left. Uh, I guess it will be aligned to the right if you're using uh, RTL languages like Hebrew, but it's not centered. And that's not okay. Websites, especially uh, websites you look at for a long period of time, need to be uh, centered to the screen. Um, and we, if I, if I will take a video and show it to you, obviously there is an advertising right now, but you can see that it is aligned to the side of the screen and it's really bad, it's hard to look at. When I sit there and watch Total Biscuit rumble on a game for 45 minutes, I, I, I don't want to look to one side of the screen. It's not, it's not natural. Um, also, I, I, I'm using dual monitors and it, it fucks up the entire orientation of my, of my perspective. It's, it's horrible. That's one thing. That's, that's actually uh, not the worst thing about this new layout. The worst thing about this new layout is the new playlist system. I will show you what I mean. I go to my channel and I will load one of the playlists. Torchlight 2 playthrough. And I will watch one of the movies. I'm recording. Now, if you remember in the old uh, YouTube, when you open a playlist, the playlist will be at the, at the bottom of the screen. And you will have the ability to um, scroll through uh, each video in the playlist and uh, shuffle and uh, all, all those stuff. And it was prominent and big and good to use. And not good to use, what, what am I saying? And uh, uh, easy to use. And uh, now, if you want to get the same functions, you have these buttons here. In order to open the playlist, you click here and you have the playlist. And you have the autoplay and the shuffle. Wh now, why, I why is it bad? This is bad because when I'm watching a video on my television and I'm uh, laying in my bed with my uh, media center uh, remote which has a, a little mouse on it, I, I need to see big buttons and big elements on my screen. If I need from, uh, I guess, what, two meters away or even three, to see this little button in order to open the playlist then um, select the next video I wanted to see well I, I, I just won't be able to do that or I will be able to do that but it will be really hard now yes I can put it on autoplay and then uh, put it on, uh, on um, full screen and so forth and I can access the play the place that way but in uh, in the past it was buggy uh, if you went to um, to a channel and started for example I want to see uh, all videos from my channel and I want to do it from the start 
Um, so if I, if I went to a channel that has like hundreds of videos and started watching them one by one, at some point YouTube will break and start jumping between uh, videos uh, randomly. And I couldn't continue to, to watch them in order uh, without uh, going through the playlist one by one by myself. Um, and, and maybe maybe they fix it right now, but it was really comfortable to have this playlist that you can. Um, it it took uh, um, it took um, a big part of the screen, and it it had big buttons, and it was really convenient to use. And right now it isn't. Now if um, if I will go to a specific video, you can see that the more from um, the channel has been moved to here. And again, it's really small. I don't know what they're thinking, why they are uh, taking those things that, that were really prominent, really big elements on the layout and, and, and shrunk them into those little things that even when I'm sitting at my desk, I'm having a hard time seeing. It's like I'm, I have two monitors, each of them is uh, full uh, 1080p HD resolution, and this thing is really, really small, and I don't like it. And now if I will go to my subscriptions to see uh, the latest uploads from everyone uh, I'm su subscribed to, uh, and I will enter one of them, what w you will see this that I have more from my subscriptions. I don't have more from the same guy. If I want to see the next video o of Jesse Cox, I need to uh, go back to his channel and pick it out. And that's just insane. E uh, before, if I uh, stumble upon a random video of some guy, I could uh, just enter and see it, and then I could click on the little um, uh, her arrow key, and it will open up the latest videos from that guy, and I sh I wouldn't need to uh, go to his channel and, or anything. They they just make it a lot more cluttered and, and a lot more inconvenient to use. Now the last thing I want to complain about, and um, I'm sorry about this rumbling. But the subscriptions. Before that, you have the list of your <coughs> excuse me. You had the list of your subscription, and you had the ability to pin up to ten of them to always show at the top of the list. And I did it for for the channels I watch all the time. And now you don't have that. They are organized by uh, whatever order. I think it depends on the latest activity, new activity, or, or or relevance, or something idiotic like that. Yes, relevance. W why, how did YouTube decide that those channels are the most relevant to me? By, by what standard? Please tell me. I want to show you, I have, I, I have this, um, bookmark folder that I made this morning because of it, those are the channels I watch daily. Those are the only channels I watch daily. All the others I stay subscribed to because I like watching from time to time. But these are the, ch the channels I watch every day and they're not here. So yes, th those are my biggest problem. I have with the new YouTube and frankly, well, I won't stop using the ch the site because I think it it's the second most uh, used site on on my day. Um, I I use it all the time. It's a TV replacement for me. I, I don't uh, watch uh, cable or satellite television. I use only YouTube. And but but now but, <coughs> but right, right now it it just borderline um, unusable and I made my p opinion vocal and I posted on YouTube's Facebook page on, on YouTube uh, Google Plus page and also made my own post there and I uh, used this little feedback button 
um, to send them my opinions and I hope that if enough people will tell them that what they did uh, suck <laughs> they will consider I, I don't want them to, to change the design because it's it's cleaner it's nicer to look at it's it's really nice but they need to uh, add the, those functions that, that are missing back in uh, add a proper playlist um, a mechanism add a proper subscription mechanism um, right now, the the all uh, discovering new videos and um, uh, watching the people you want to watch, it's it just all messed up, and I, I'm sorry for that. So that's that's all for now, and I will see you next time.